Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 4 through 6 of season 3 of Black and White. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 4 and 3, 2, 1, go. Oh. We just hope and pray that, like, with PCP, they get an anime adaptation. Because that's what we just won at the end of the day. Like, come on now. Ugh. I'm so scared. Between this and so many other things that are going on in my mind right now. Because it's only Tuesday, right? And I still have... I'm doing this and I'm doing real life finale tonight after I'm done watching this. Um, and I don't know what time I'm going to be done. I'll probably be done by, like, 12 a.m. And it's going to take, like, three hours for both of these edits. So it's six. And I still need to watch, um, Black Bullet and Banner. And then tomorrow is JoJo Day. And I'm over here like, <laughs> what the fuck am I going to do? I said I was going to watch JoJo. And I'm like, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> this is complicated right now like oh so i even as of right now at eight fifty seven at night i still don't know what the fuck i'm gonna do regarding tomorrow because it's 12 episodes coming out and i'm like should i make two videos in one three videos in one i don't fucking know like uh fuck Nah, she just fired up about it. You sure? usually us women we like to hide our emotions but sometimes you know when we're alone we just gotta let it out Maybe. <laughs> mm. 
Mm. Yeah, but it's not an anime. Yeah. And, and just and besides, it could be an anime later on. Just let him start with the drama CD, and then you never know what it could happen after that. Baby! <laughs> oh, my boy was too damn excited. <laughs> She went down. Both of them went down like they had some credit cards and they debit card and be like, boom, take it. <laughs> oh, my babies. I love them so much. It just seems like you don't have time.
That's better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. You gotta feel bad for Shen. Yeah, but this, isn't that a little too much for them, though? Exactly. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> he parts his baby boy. Oh. <laughs> they they try. <laughs> Like Hatsity, let's be a little positive about this. What if it does? Are you basically saying you don't have enough money?
true. You might as well tell him. It is. But, I mean, just to be, like, so fucking close, but still so far away because of that. Like, it sucks. Exactly. And you don't want her to wait so long. I thought he did for a moment. I was like, oh, shit! <laughs> yeah, but do you think that you can really do too? Exactly. And see, something tells me that, like, okay, from the, the final episode of season two... And that preview for season three, like, that character that was drawn, that's possibly the person who's going to be their new idea. Maybe. I don't know. It's just complicated as fuck, like, to be so fucking close. <laughs> oh.
Hmm. Yeah, that is family. Then he wouldn't have time. He literally could have just said, N O. No. No, 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 no. Marshall, honey, <laughs> if you really truly want to marry Azuki before you're 30, I mean, baby, like, oh. God, honey bunny. <sighs> this is complicated. I can't, I have nothing else to say. I mean, oh my God. Like, oh God. I mean, <laughs> I'm happy for Shun because like, oh, like, yeah, you might get your dream and everything, but still, like, uh, I have a headache now. <laughs> it just gave me a fucking headache. It ain't that bad, but still, like, oh my god, but like, what is he, like, are you really okay with this, Marshall? Like, if you are not, like, say something, just say it. successful because he's just so freaking cute and you gotta cheer for like the cute little like precious boys or any precious type of character that it gives you kind of like that because he kind of gives me a Mary Sue type vibe not not like Haru and everything from P5 but like still he he just so cute you want to fucking protect him and like he deserves the world all these characters deserve all the praise and hope and accomplishments in this show but at the same time, you're like, bro, this is fucking complicated. Like, what the fuck you want me to do? Oh, my God. I need a minute before I watch this next episode. But, like, oh, I'm just, I'm ha I'm at a crossroads. That's all. I'm at a mother effing crossroads with this episode. I mean, it was good. Very, very good. <sighs> Until that last little bit and then also with the fact is Hatsuri's stating that PCP will never become an anime because of the factors of what they have are really be giving those certain ideas to kids and saying like oh hey go outside and do this I really understand that because it's it's the same thing with like what in the world is going on in the real world today and how when you look at some animes and some mangas also light novels or you look at TV shows in general and how little kids are influenced by anything that's on TV. I know, like, I can speak for me when I was a kid. There were some TV shows when I watched as a kid. And I was influenced by them. But never really ones that where it felt like I should 
you know, mm, kind of harm myself or others. Um, but of course, because of little kids and just whatever they see, they're going to want to do it and such because they're kids and kids don't know any better. And that's why it's up to, you know, not only their parents, but like people in general to teach them like, oh, hey, you want to consume this, but like, don't do much. And da, da, da. Not always like hide them from things because kids are going to be kids and they're going to look at stuff. No, like even when you say, no, don't look at that. <laughs> they're going to secretly do it. Come on. We were all kids once. We all did that. But it's about teaching them and don't like hide things from them. I mean, I'm just saying that's just me. But <sighs> yeah, I'm at a mother effing crossroads. We're going to pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode five. <laughs> okay. Episode five and three, two, one. One, go. <sighs> Just say no. Say no. But he's gonna see it's okay. <sighs> I get that. But are you sure about this? You are so fucking lying to yourself. like that's what we're not thinking about and it's just making it complicated like as much as you want like everyone to reach for their, their dreams and stuff like I, I, I want that for like everybody on this damn show but at the same time there's a cost at it because of the fact is you're not gonna have time to do what the fuck you want to do is it oh my god I can't it's almost like okay like me when I'm like, okay, I have time for this show, this show, this show, this show, that show. So let's say I'm doing five freaking shows in a season. Or even like ten. Because I used to do ten. Plus. Um, and then I went from ten to five. And when somebody asks me constantly, like, oh, hey, can you watch this? Or can you do that? And when I say, hey, I ain't got freaking time. <laughs> which means I ain't got time. It is a little complicated, though. Especially when you're adding, like non-seasonal to seasonal and then when you're adding also patreon stuff into it as well and it becomes very convoluted and sometimes you just want to break down and such because you're doing too much but then i'm like Haha, i still love doing this because it's, it's still one of my favorite things to do but this is why like sometimes you can't always have so many people and they can't too many cooks in the kitchen that's basically what this is you should have just told him no but now he might not have any time for you Oh my god, I want to die. This is so complicated. Exactly. Imagine if it was fucking three. Imagine if it was three!
Look at the bags under his eyes. Oh. But still, the same thing might happen, though. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> I feel so bad for him. <laughs> it's he's getting all this accomplishments and he's over here like the fuck. She will just tell him how you feel. Like, ah! Um. Aww. Four dogs. Four dogs. Like, oh. <laughs> I mean, but hold up, Sean is getting money for it, right? So, I mean, what the fuck is the problem? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a, like a stepping stone, you know? Yeah, but it's just complicated right now.
He's right though. Yes, it's fine. I get that, but like, mm -hmm. Yeah, but you still don't want to overwork yourself, though. Fuck that! I don't... Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's what he wants to do! Exactly, just start with two and then eventually work your way to three. peace That's right. Exactly.
But damn. Oh, God. Oh, her outfit's cute. Woo, this bitch. This bitch. <laughs> Exactly. Oh, fuck you, bitch. Speak up, bitch! Speak up! Exactly, have you? That's two votes! That is two votes right there! Two! <laughs> exactly! Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 
Did Let's hope this goes good though. But like, oh, Jesus, once again, my heart. <laughs> my heart. The fact is that both, like, Shun's sister, he told me, and even though his dad didn't say anything because, you know, wife is there, and sometimes there are some wives and some husbands who don't really want their significant other to have an opinion. I get that at the point where both Hitomi and her dad were alone, they were able to talk about it. But when it came to a point where it's like, oh, hey, here's the husband, here's the wife, here's Hitomi, here's all these other freaking adults and such talking about this, he didn't voice his opinion. But he still is like, I still want to support my son. I get that. So I am happy that out of the three, two did support him in his dreams and wanting what he blah, cannot speak. What he wants to do for the rest of his life. I'm wondering how it's going to go for him. So I'm hoping I'm praying this is going to be good. Now that, like, Mashiro wants to kind of, like, not even kind of, he wants to do some things on his own. I get it. Because it kind of happens, especially when you are a two person like almost like a package deal and eventually you want to have like time to yourself to find different projects that you're into but you still want to like you know ask each other for advice it happens because we all do it whether we're doing something so with someone or even on your own but i mean this is such a good episode i mean uh still complicated as fuck but uh mm. <laughs> Uh, I want to cry. <laughs> also, I'm just happy that Shun also found a place for him and his dog because, oh, like, everyone's baby ran away from home, was homeless, and the dog was staying out there in the cold all freaking day for two days straight. Oh, God. Thank God. They okay. That's all that fucking matters. That they're together. Cause like, yeah, you can't keep a person and a dog, like, separate. Come on, now. Do people and dogs have separation anxiety when it comes to each other. Trust me. <laughs> like, seriously. I know there are probably some people watching this or even people who've seen, like, TikTok videos or, you know, anything wondering how in a world can you, um get an attachment to a pet and it I in a way I can't explain it to you sometimes it's just a feeling that you have a lot of people think that they could never be um attached to uh, an animal or something like that but then it's like okay hold on if you can be attached or be not like have affection towards a, a human you can also be affectionate with a dog or uh, any type of pet you love them because that's a part of your family and such. And so when we look at our, our, our pets in general, that's our family and such. We go to them, even though, yeah, they can't talk back to us, even though sometimes they look at us and, yeah, they understand you and they come to you at times of needs and such, and especially if you're having, like, the worst day ever. And I've had so many days in the past, um that I've had like the worst freaking days ever and I've cried and so I've either had Yan and Keanu or I've had Cody come up to me and like because there was this one time I like to the point where I cried my ass off because I was so upset um I don't remember what I was like upset about but it, like, I know I, it was like the worst day of my life and I've had several worst days of my life um and at the time when Yan and Keanu were still alive, like, they hopped up on my bed and just cuddled with me. Cody! <laughs> Cody, he, he cuddles with me and he's like, if I'm upset or anything, he'll just look at me and just do like this and stuff. But I think, you know, he understands, like, my feelings and stuff. And so he's, like, trying to do, like, little things that make me feel better. It's just the cutest thing ever. Like, oh my god, I can't. But, like I said, if you, if you ever get a pet, I think... 
once you do and you experience it having having it for like a year or a couple of months to a year you will get attached to it like quickly and there are gonna be days where you're like damn you might go on a trip and you might be like i just want to go home and be with my dog <laughs> or you might be gone for a couple of hours not like for work but maybe you're going out for like whatever and then you're like damn i miss my dog <laughs> But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode six. Alrighty, episode six in three, two, one, go. Are you sure though? And if not,
Perfect. But it could work. It really could. You have nothing, don't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you might, you know, be inspired by something. <laughs> Seriously? Everybody's doing a fucking love story. Oh, God.
But I'll write this shit down. Right? Just a feeling sometimes. What's wrong? a little too well though maybe that's just me but still Hmm. She's right. Hmm. <sighs> 
<laughs> no, let him go. No, but he has to be. Mm hmm Oh my god, you're so cute! <laughs> oh Wait, wait, Kaya Exactly, but still, we need to have a big conversation about this. I don't know why, but like uh, a protagonist falling in love with an angel just gives me like, what the fuck is that anime that I'm watching? Um, Platinum Zen. There we go. <laughs> you know, I have not watched it in a while, even though it ain't a love story, though. <laughs> hmm, maybe I'll watch it on Thursday. That or I'm there until the Christmas break. Because I felt like I have no time.
Really? <laughs> of course. <laughs> I mean, I'm so proud of them, though. They did good. I was expecting this, like, would I say it's a breakup? Not really. It's more or less like, um, the pause, a pause, a little moment in time between these two because of the fact is, yes, Akito is helping Shin and everything. I thought it was going to be a lot longer, but I'm glad that, you know, Shin is now working independently. He's able to do it all on his own. He just is his own boss. And sometimes in the end, you have to be like that. Because these two have always been a team since day fucking one. No matter what. And it would have felt so weird if, like, one is working more on a different project with the, with someone else. And, and, you know, this is the third. But still, I mean, yeah, they made it work. But still, you know everyone's going to have problems about certain things eventually and being like, hey, you know, we need to voice opinions on that. Like, okay, hold up. Without even telling Kaya about the fact that he was staying over at Shun's. Like, okay, hold up. Sir, sir, you are fucking married. That is your wife. You have to tell your wife what the fuck you possibly about to do. You cannot literally leave your wife hanging. Communication is fucking key. <laughs> like, oh my god. <laughs> like, if you really, if you want your, like, relationship, marriage, whatever, to work, communication is the biggest thing. You always want to be able to talk to your partner um, about anything. Yeah, there's some things that, you know, sometimes we can't really talk to our significant others about, but sometimes if you can't talk to them, then yes, find someone else. Whether that is a friend, family member, whoever, so that eventually when you are ready to talk to your significant other, other about it, then you can. Um, and such, and go like that. I mean, because it's, like I said, it's not good to keep secrets. Secrets like that, you know, really fuck up a relationship and sometimes it could really fuck up a relationship that much that it could end it and such and you don't want to be thinking about like you don't want to be in <laughs> your 40s maybe 50s and be like damn 
your your marriage is over, and you'd be like, damn, I really fucked up that. Like, oh yeah, don't do that. No, 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 no. So always communicate with your significant other, no matter what. Whether you have problems on this, this, that, the third. If you're not the greatest at communicating, and it's a point where you two get into an argument and it's hard for you to say what's on your mind because me, I, I do struggle with that a lot. And sometimes like, eh. there are things that I truly want to say when I'm in an argument with someone, but I hate not saying that because I feel like I might offend that person, um, with the way I talk or the way I word things and such. And so sometimes I have to like, kind of leave the combo and then come back when I think I'm ready and be like, okay, this is why I think you were wrong on this occasion. This is that and the third. And that is fine is many issues that me and maybe people who also have that problem have to get over with and stuff or just try to deal with because it happens to all of us at the end of the day but if you ever get to a point where it is hard for you to communicate with your significant other get up walk away take like three five minutes ten minutes away from each other to just like calm yourself down think about the situation look at it from a different angle and then come back together and try to um communicate without arguing because nobody likes to argue with your significant other i mean it's it's worse when you see like your friends family members um anyone argue but then it's even worse when like if you have a child um with your significant other and you start arguing in front of that kid and that kid starts feeling some type of way and everything and it, it's just too much so sometimes like and it's worse whether you have experienced it when you were a kid or you've seen it from someone else is saying like oh like you know how parents will say like no we're only doing this because we love each other uh, okay okay like mm -hmm, sure Cause until i experience that with my significant other in the future <laughs> every single time when i see someone i know say like oh yeah we're only arguing because you love each other i'm like really really do you really <laughs> like mm, mm. but it's just the way you know how people just communicate with each other but other than that guys that is very active view towards episodes four through six of season three of back on if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially y'all next friday for page no 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 mm -mm 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 next Wednesday for uh, for everybody else and next Friday for Patreons for episode 7 to 9. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!